Hello once again folks and uh, welcome along to another video from Gun Dog and Fly and today um, I'm going to do a little bit of work with a couple of pups. Now regular viewers to the channel will be familiar with um, Hunter here. Um, she's only seven months old but she's relatively experienced already as regards hunting and all that. So she's been out hunting a few times, she's had a few birds shot over so she's well used to gunfire and all that. Now we have a new recruit here today belongs to my buddy Michael who is out of shot at the moment, he's over here but um, you'll see him throughout the video, he's kind of camera shy. Um, he's pup, new pup, male um, English setter pup, just, what age is he? He's just five months and uh, he's hardly ever been in a field to tell the truth about it and he um, he's never heard any gunfire. So today what we're going to do is we're going to introduce him to gunfire. And the method I use for introducing um, a dog to gunfire um, isn't exclusively my own. I've no doubt that other people use it as well. All I do is I make sure that the pup is very busy and then fire the shot carefully. This needs to be done very carefully because many a, a, a prospective gun dog has been ruined by, the, by careless introduction to gunfire. I've had many people contact me down through the years and say um, my dog is now terrified of gunfire and I ask them why and inevitably you'll see that they made a mistake while they were introducing the, the gun. So today I'm going to show you how it's done, the way I do it. Now I'm not saying that it's a magical way or anything, it works for me and there are many other methods that I use sometimes too but this method in particular works very well for me so um, tag along and see how it goes. There. Hunter. Now we have to be careful with this little boy. Um, come on fella. As you can see he's a small little bit perturbed. He's not used to this so we, um, you'd expect him to be a slightly disconcerted but he'll be fine once we get into the field I've no doubt. So now because he's so young I'm not going to allow him to jump down from here because their bones are not properly set at that age and um, he could injure himself if he jumps down so I'm going to actually help him out. Come on fella. Now, he'll be fine. Now, he's coming around already. Good boy, good boy. He's a beautiful pup, very well bred, and um, from a very good hunting background, all belonging to him for many, many generations, were great hunting dogs. So um, we'd, expect, we'd expect him to be much the same. This is actually this little guy's first time on the lead, so huge progress. He's um he's walking on the lead after a few minutes because the other dog take he takes his cue from the other dog, and uh, we won't have any problems with him walking to, walking to heel or on the lead, and hopefully no problems with the gunfire as we bring it incrementally closer. Good boy, good boy. Very happy puppy today. Now our two pups are out running and are quite a long distance out and now is the opportune time to fire a shot and see is there any reaction. We're gonna, no, they're coming back towards me now so I'm going to hold off for a second. Yeah. Next time they run out Come on pup, come on pup, good boy, good boy, come on. So we're waiting for the right moment, that's Michael by the way, he's the, the camera shy one, come on. Good girls and boys, come on, come on pups, good girl hunter. Now off she goes and he's going to follow her no doubt. This is the opportune time now when they've gone out quite a ways and I'm firing the shot behind my back. Now he heard it, acknowledged it but showed no fear or um, he's not any bit concerned by it because he's taking his cue from the other dog and she's not in any way perturbed by gunfire at this stage. So everything's going well. Now another very important thing to do for a dog is to um, 
teach them to walk the heel properly. And what Michael is doing here is, every time that the dog goes to walk in front of him, he just waves a bit of a branch in front of the dog. And eventually the dog will get the idea not to walk past your knee. It's very simple training, but really does work. And you can see it here now. He's walking along fine, and any time he goes to walk in front of Michael, you notice he just waves the branch in front of him. 10 minutes of that, a couple of days, and he'll never pass your knee again. He'll walk the heel on the lead. So now, everything's going well. We fired a couple of shots and everything's going according to plan. So now, we'll do more of that again in the future until such time as the dog becomes, until he basically completely ignores any loud sounds such as gunfire. They're out there now and they're chasing little birds, which is great. Lovely to see pups out running around and learning about their environment. Folks, introduction to gunfire for this little fella today, and no problems. The secret is, is to make sure that your puppy is occupied, that he's distracted, and he was very much distracted by Hunter here, running after her. So the shots just appear like background noise to him. They don't, it doesn't perturb him or make him nervous, and that's the important thing. Eventually what we do is we gradually close down the gap and in increments we, 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 we reduce the distance until such time as he will pay no heed whatsoever to the sound of gunfire. Except in time when he's older he'll know that it means bird down or most likely a bird down and he'll associate, he'll associate the sound with uh, good times basically. So that's it folks, introduction to gunfire, very simple and uh, two very tired puppies here and uh, we're heading home now so once again thanks very much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe to Gun Dog and Fly for more videos like this. And uh Gudi, Kakasfar, Erkele, Erishmite, Slan Tamil.